two of my testimony. Uh, and the last one we had ended on the fact that my dad had moved to Puerto Rico, and I went ahead and followed him uh, because the, uh, they were looking, the cops were looking for me here in Florida. Um, when I got to Puerto Rico, I honestly tried to straighten my life out. I tried to give supposedly God an opportunity. Um, I was only, you know, um, almost 18 at that point in time, but I tried, I tried, I really tried. I remember I enrolled in school and I enrolled in uh, my GED classes. I started taking them in Puerto Rico. And my dad took me to church. Uh, I already had plans laid out because my best friends here in Florida were already uh, dealing drugs. And uh, my plans were s simple. Once I turned um, uh, 19 and I have uh, enough money saved up, I'm moving to, to Orlando, Florida, and we're going to start, you know, we're going to start doing a couple of things here in Florida. So anyway, um, I remember I started going to church with my dad, though. And I started going to church with my dad, and even though I started going to church with my dad, that plan was still in the back of my mind. I remember I went to church, and I was, uh, uh, I was just turning 18, and it was uh, New Year's Eve. And the pastors, they had, they had little helium balloons. And the pastor said, let's just do an act of faith. Let's just thank God for being how awesome he is. And for, from, 12, from 11.30 to almost 12, we were just praising God outside. I was just trying to follow through, you know. And uh, the pastor said, here's a helium balloon. Write a petition you have for God. And on the piece of paper, I remember I put, I said, God, listen, I'm about to bounce next year. Next year, this same time, I'm packing to go to Orlando, Florida. Um, you know that I've always wanted to uh, do my own thing. And if I don't find a wife or a girl, well, a good girlfriend, by next year, this same time, I'm leaving. So if you want to prove to, you, to yourself to me that you're God, then go ahead and do it. But I doubt it. I really doubt you can prove to me that you're God and this and this and that. And I want a girl who is fine. She looks beautiful, who's fine, who, who's a good person, who has good feelings and, and everything like that. The next year when I come, uh, the, the, next, the, the next few months, I stopped going to church altogether. Altogether. And I uh, started living my own life. I started doing crazy stuff, you know. Um, uh, it was just crazy. I I don't think I stepped a foot in church after that. The next year, um, New Year's Eve, I wasn't in church. Believe me that. The next year, New Year's Eve, I was hanging out. Uh, my friends had told me, let's go hang out to this block party in Victor Rojas Arecibo. And it was a huge block party. And it was crazy because since I had prayed to God to come into my life at one point in time, I really didn't do it. Um, from the heart I don't think but from that point in time it was like something was in me that would warn me when something was going to bad happen and I was there and, and something was telling me listen leave leave don't stay here and people were having fun there was a whole bunch of girls and a whole bunch of crazy stuff and there were drugs there were beer there were everything um, and I was so tempted to do a lot of stuff but something in me was telling me just go home just go home just go home so as I'm driving home I see a friend from school and I stop I used to say hi and it was exactly around 12 something okay I, 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 and her sister comes out okay her sister comes out she's exactly how I described to God that I wanted that I wanted a, a wife so we start talking we hit it off and this and that at that point in time I'm not even thinking about the whole petition that I did to God thing that all came through after a few months later that I started thinking, wow, look, he came through. So I, I, met, I met up with her. We started talking and everything like that. I noticed that she was really reserved, really respectful. Uh, she was not a person who, um, you know, even, even at that point in time, I, I, I could only speak to her in front of her parents because her, her dad was really strict and everything like that. And uh, we hit it off big time. We hit it off big time. Um, at that point in time, I shared with her, listen, um, sweetie, I, I already have my ticket to go to Orlando. Um, my best friend over there is a, is a big-time drug dealer, and um, he's offered me the opportunity for me to go, and we can win, and, and I can get my business started over there as well. And um, I want to be able to be successful. I want to have a house by next year, and um, I don't think I'm going to get the house just here doing these types of things. And, and she was telling me, listen, don't go. What's the point of you going? You know what I mean? You're, gonna, you're only going to get killed. That's not the best way to do it, and this and this and that. And, Little by little, she convinced me, and I didn't go. I didn't go. Um, I didn't go to Puerto Rico. A few months later down the line, though, uh, uh, 
we, we, we were thinking about getting married. Isn't that crazy? And we started talking to each other, and we started saying to each other that we, you know, that maybe it was a good thing for us to get married. This and this and that. She was having difficulties at whole home, and I was having difficulties at my house, and I had a job and everything like that. Um, at that point in time, after many months of us knowing each other and talking to each other, uh, I remember at one point in time, she says, "Let's go to church." I'm like, "Nah, that ain't for me. That ain't for me." So we ended up going to church. Okay. Like I told you, I didn't want to go, but she took me. Uh, when I went to the church that day, I remember that um, I felt something that it was, it was amazing inside, but I was trying to deny that I was feeling it. I was feeling such a joy, such a peace, you know, and it was crazy. Um, but the craziest thing that happened, and, and before God, I'm telling you, this is the absolute truth. Um, while praising worship, this lady interrupts the whole church service, okay? Now I went to church thugged out. I had my chains, I had everything. I was just thugged out my hat. I, it was crazy. I remember that this lady said really, really loud and everybody stopped and started hearing her. You see this kid right now? He walked into church and all of you judged him. All of you judged him by his appearance, but little did any of you know that one day he will be up in that pulpit. And one day, he's going to minister to thousands. And through him, many are going to learn who Jesus Christ is. He doesn't even believe this. And then she started ministering to my life. Then she started telling me, you know how many times I've saved you? Do you remember that day? And, and she started mentioning events that were happening, that had happened. Do you remember that day when you did this and 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 how I protected you? Or did you think you just got off of because it was luck? Do you not remember this point in time? She started mentioning everything pinpointed in detail. I kid you not. At that point in time, I started crying. But I was crying because I was scared. <laughs> I was like, what is going on, you know? So, I left that church and I didn't step back in the church for a long time. I was scared. I was like, what is this lady talking about? How did she know all of that? How did she know that? I'm never going to preach. Me preach? Are you crazy? What am I going to preach about? And I left it at that. Um, glory to God. God is awesome. After that point in time, we were already making preparations to get married. Um, a week before we were going to get married, though, um, I did something horrible. <laughs> I got into an argument with my now wife on purpose just to get her to argue with me. But my plans were to leave to go to Puerto Rico. I mean, leave to go to Orlando. So, I did get in an argument with her, and the argument led uh, to me saying, Oh, you're always arguing, this and this and that. You know, my plans were already to argue with her. And uh, she went home, and and after she went home, I got on a plane ticket and left to Orlando, Florida. I didn't get back with her uh, to let her know anything about me for at least 30 days. Uh, little did she know that within those 30 days, what was going on in my life, was absolutely horrible. I'm lucky to be alive. Um, I came here to Orlando, Florida, thinking that everything was going to be cool. However, um, when I got here, um, my best friend, who was dealing the drugs and everything like that, and who was into all of this, um, at one point in time, he took me on a so we can go buy some drugs and everything like that, you know. Um, and it's about the 10 minute mark, so I got to cut it short, but. Um, Hope I'm not boring you. <laughs> Sorry, but part three coming soon. Uh, thank you for your support. I'm so sorry for making you wait so much. God bless you. Later.